Welcome to the next video of some hardware upgrades as well as calibration of the ER20. Still not assembled, but stuff that I'm getting done now uh, to enable things to be better uh, once we actually get into the videos about calibration. So a couple of things I want to show you um, that we've done uh, with this particular machine. Last The last video was about the hot end fix. Um, another thing that uh, I, I installed right off the bat was an improved fan, uh, uh, fan shroud. So you see, uh, well, you know, we all know it's hot, so that's kind of superfluous for that. But if you'll see the bottom of this particular fan shroud, it is way more efficient at getting air on the nozzle in a 360 degree, or, or not 360, but a 270 degree uh, arc. Uh, much better, and maybe not quite that, 240 degrees or so, but much better than what we have with the standard Airy One fan duct uh, for your hot end fan. So this is a print that I would strongly recommend you do in PETG, um, and you can find it on Thingiverse. Uh, that link will be below. Uh, there are a couple of different uh, iterations of it, um, and you can choose the one that you like the best. Uh, of note... Um, the, just to give you an idea, this is what the regular franchise looks like uh, when you take it off. Um, it uh, it basically the way it's it's put together is it has air coming from the fan, but kind of flowing down, which kind of misses the nozzle. Now it does help, you know, you are kind of going towards the uh, towards the filament, I suppose, but there's kind of a missing of catching, you know, right after uh, the extruded plastic. Uh, to give you a closer look at the upgraded fan, or upgraded fan duct that was printed and put on there, um, look at the way the bottom of that is designed as opposed to Airy One's uh, stock one. Um, it uh, takes the air and then pushes it both at your hot end, down slightly, as well as on the sides of your hot end has some really nice... Uh, nice flow, and then there's some guides internal to this, which help get plenty of air around on the sides. So it's just a better fan. This is just a better fan duct solution. Uh, again, the links will be down in uh, down in the description, and you can print this out. Strongly recommend you do it in PETG or ABS, uh, so that uh, you don't have to worry about the actual fan or the heat of the hot end melting your shroud, uh, or are starting to cause it to warp, which then could hit your print and fail print, you know, get fail prints and all that other bad nastiness. Other things I'm doing right off the bat uh, that I want you to see. So I'm going to get a little bit close here. Do you notice this collet? That's what this little thing is called that I'm moving with my finger here. This collet is, again, linked below. Print it, stick it under these. Basically what it does is it blocks these uh, plunge washers uh, from uh, from... Or these connect, they're actually called quick connect fittings. These quick connect fittings from one, from loosening to allow your Bowden tube to come up. But more importantly, um, it keeps things from like bending too much, which might cause your Bowden tube to break or the fitting not to work appropriately. It keeps things nice and straight. And I've put a little collet on all of the fittings here. There's another one here. And then if you look at the input of, let me see if I can get it here. Yeah, there you go. Um, sorry for the video there, but there's a, another collet right here at the Bowden feed tube. So that's already some of the uh, some of the really smart, I think, hardware upgrades that you can do with your printer right off the bat to have it uh, perform a little bit better. There are two things that I don't have installed yet, but I'll go ahead and show you because I'm not going to make a separate video on them. This is an improved spool roller. Uh, for Airy One printers, and it fits like all the spool holders for uh, filament spool holders uh, for any series, whether it's the Thinker, or the uh, the ER Twenty, all of that. And what it does is it just kind of slides. It's it's got a guide, it slides directly on, fits really nicely onto your uh, onto your spool uh, spool holder, and it increases the radius such that you get much smoother. Uh, much smoother action and less grinding and jerking of the printer while the filament is being pulled down into your feeder tube and then through your extruder. Um, of note, I will not... Let me see if I can grab it real fast with my other hand. Even though it looks great green, you can even make this better if you use some PTFE tape. 
you know, the really slippery PTFE tape and wind that around there so that the filament uh, uh, spool actually just slides on this filament or on the PTFE tape. So this is a really good, uh, I strongly recommend you do that. Um, definitely makes things super smooth. Um, and uh, I don't know, in the background, uh, you might have heard uh, this printing of the tower that I mentioned in the video about the hot end fix, but I guarantee you're not hearing any noise from the spool of filament. It just is absolutely silent and smooth as it rolls on that PTFE tape around this upgraded uh, uh, spool roller. So uh, that's a, that's another very recommended uh, upgrade that I that I think is worthwhile doing. Again, printing, and then this will be probably one of the last ones I do right off the bat. Of bat but this is another part uh, is a filament guide. How does it work? Well, let me move the video just real quick. It actually is going to connect right over here. It's left some room. You're gonna put some padding to, to wedge some padding on there to make it nice and easy. But then you're gonna have your filament come down through. Let me just, the filament is gonna come down through the screw and it will keep your feed tube from being pulled up towards the spool. It'll keep things nice, much more nice and straight. Uh, for uh, the feeding happening with your, or the feeding of the, of the Bowden tube uh, system into your extruder gear. So um, these are just some quick, uh, quick upgrades that I wanted to show you before. And then after this, I'm actually going to get into actually assembling the printer and doing these things. I'm not going to make a video about that. There's plenty of videos out there, like I mentioned on the other one. Uh, this is about upgrading and calibrating your printer with some really easy, cheap, uh, cheap ways to make things work a little bit more consistently for you and allow you to dial, dial it in in a way uh, that will uh, cause your models to print uh, much more consistently. See you next time.